Okay, y'all, so I keep sounding crazy because they'll mess me up. And Obama know, Michelle and, oh, Michelle and Barack know what they try to do. Like, they'll try to talk for me. So let me go back over everything. So Ozell Shields, I know him as my great-granddaddy, but he also may have been my cousin, okay? So Obama is my uncle. So Barack Obama is my uncle. And it's like he my step-uncle because... Rita and Osa have a different mother. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what it is. So they were close to Vietnamese people because they are the people who helped get the people over her for um for uh what is it? They helped them get them over here for the nail shops and for the um for the nail shops. And for the rice house. So it's like, y'all, when they when I come into I'm talking about like safe fence is not her. But like safe fence, I go to like a different nail shop somewhere else. They'll give me like a full body massage, y'all, for free. So much you're going to have a husband. You're going to have a husband. I love it, y'all. And I'm like, why they treat me like that? So Riri, that's her grandfather. So that's why Danielle proved, okay, now I'm not so mad at her either, because that's why she probably feel like it's her. Because he, I think uh, Ozell, the real Ozell, used to speak another language, too. You see what I'm saying? So, that's why it was easy for him to help. And it's easy for Riri to speak, too. Like, she understand Vietnamese. You see what I'm saying? And my mama probably did, too. I don't understand Vietnamese. All they do, really, is just feed me. And they feed me with their fingers. So, that's it. That's what my daddy was trying to get me to eat with chopsticks and stuff. But, yeah, it's like, yeah, Danielle proves that's why she probably feel like she me too. But they don't record. So, that is what happened. When your, when your daddy was somewhere cleaning the tools, because I was probably, because he called me to go get something out the shed. When I went into the shed, that's when somebody hit me. So, I was in the back playing in the rocks by the cars. And I think, I thought grandmama was there too for some reason. That's probably why she didn't want to really see me no more either. But I think my great-grandmother was there. So anyway, I was in there getting something out the shed. Somebody hit me in the back of the head. Then when I came to, I was in the house. It was a white family there. Then that's when a man came with a taxi and took me to Canada. That's it. Like, ain't that shit weird? And then brought me back. And then for a couple of months, I was just at the yellow and white house. And it'll be different people coming with the devices, like, so they can feed me and stuff. That's it. I stayed in the bed, like, most of the time. Like, it wasn't nothing wrong with me, but still. Then one day, I woke up. My okay, yeah. So, then I woke up and they was and my great and my grandmother was like, which is like, this would be your, your dad's stepdaughter. So, my grandmother is your father's stepdaughter. And so, that's it. That's how he my great-granddaddy. He like my step-granddaddy. So, that's it. But for some reason, I think he's some kin to us or whatever through the Vietnamese people or whatever. Like, we blood some type of way. Me and, uh, me and uh, Barack and then uh, Rita and Osa blood through their grandmother. But me and you blood too. Like, we double kin or some stuff like that. Like, for real. My, your daddy is kin to me twice. So, it'll be like, that's what they'll be trying to tell me, like, and it's not in a bad way. Like, my daddy act like it's something awful or whatever, but it's not. Like, it's like, that's what it is. It's like, y'all can to me twice or something like that. But I think it's because of the Vietnamese side. And then for reading Osa, it's through my grandmother, which is my, uh, my great-grandmother, which is my grandmother's, they, my grandmother's sister. They had the same mother. So anyway, that's it. It's like, um, I think it's cruel what they're doing to us. The black boxes are just, that's just history and it's like it's evidence. So his case has never been solved. That's what it is. So that's what they did to my daddy too. Like they gave him evidence that he raped my mother. You see what I'm saying? So then he raped my, then he raped my, um, my stepmother too. And I was there. So when he raped my mother, I must have been there. Then he raped my stepmother. I was there. So that's the device they use to have men rape them too. So it's like it's like the stuff they do, they don't need the black boxes. You don't need to play the black box because it's evidence that they killed them. Do you understand? That's what we have in common. It's like that we have parents that died in tragedy. And they haven't let us heal from the trauma. So that's it right there.
So Osa and Rita did not know that Osa Rita didn't know that they had a bakery for her. And so they stole all the stuff. Because the stuff was still on the truck. Some of the stuff was still on the trucks. They even went to our houses and stole the stuff. So they keep looting us and all type of stuff. So like I said, these white people really are prisoners. Like they must have been criminals or something. Even with the stuff, that's what the Holocaust is. It's like the prisoners break out and take over. So that's, this is a Holocaust. You see what I'm saying? Well, you still, you are part of the Holocaust. Even though you're not Jewish, even though now it's just Vietnamese and Jewish people, that's the Holocaust. We are part of the Holocaust.